good morning. This week in Parashat Re'eh, we focus on a concept that we're not used to thinking about as it pertains to Judaism. We have the concept of Hamakom Asher Har Hashem, the place that Hashem is going to choose, which in our terms, we call the Beit HaMikdash. However, when we speak about the Beit HaMikdash here, the Torah is not limiting it to offering of Korbanot. Rather, the constant refrain that occurs when mentioning the Beit HaMikdash is Usmahtim Lifnei Hashem Elokechem. It's a rejoicing in front of God. And this rejoicing happens through the offering of Korbanot, through the eating of fruits and vegetables that are required to be consumed in the Beit HaMikdash or in the city of Yerushalayim, through coming for the holidays, and of course, in true Jewish fashion, always include the underprivileged, the Ger, the Atom, the Almanah, the Levi, the people who don't have, we're coming together as a nation and rejoicing in front of Hashem. This idea takes the concept of Judaism to a new level, that we're commanded in our religion, not just to not separate the physical from the spiritual, but we're actually commanded to take our physical success and channel it in our spiritual lives and bring it closer to Hashem and really reach Hashem through not just deprivation of physicality, but rather through celebration of our physical lives. It's for this idea also, oftentimes when we think about the Beit HaMikdash, there's an aspect that we might not focus on. The Beit HaMikdash is supposed to be the most beautiful building possible within Judaism. It's made out of gold, it's made of silver, it's made of all precious metals and fancy materials. Because the idea we want to show that God is great, we want to show that if we use our physical success in the right way, then we can enable ourselves to connect to God. People who have gone to see other people travel all over the world to see other mosques and definitely non-Jews go to see churches and the glory to reflect their religion. And the Beit HaMikdash is supposed to represent the glory of our religion, the house of Hashem, the Makom HaShem HaNashem, the place that he's going to choose to show, to enable all Jewish people to come to interact with God in a joyous and proper way. And hopefully that's something that we're yearning for, that we can see the glory of Judaism in its fullest revealed state in the beautiful building of the Beit HaMikdash, the Makom HaShem HaDashem, may it happen, Bim Hirabi Amenu, Amen.